So what's a standalone headset? Well, the idea is you have everything you need for VR built right into the headset itself. There's no cables, no phone, and certainly no big PC. And the whole device is designed just for VR. And that's cool for a couple of reasons. First, it's easy to use. Getting into VR is as easy as picking the thing up. And it's one step in two seconds. And second, presence. And by that, I mean really feeling like you're there. By building every part of the device specifically for VR, we've been able to optimize everything. The displays, the optics, the sensors, all to deliver a stronger sense of being transported. And nothing heightens the feeling of presence like precise tracking, how the headset tracks your movement. And we've dramatically improved tracking with a technology that we call WorldSense. So WorldSense enables what's known as positional tracking. With it, your view in the virtual world exactly matches your movement in the real world. And it works by using a handful of sensors on the device that look out into your surroundings. And that means it works anywhere. There's no setup, there's no cameras to install, and with it, you really feel like you're there. Now, just as we did with Daydream Ready smartphones, we're taking a platform approach with standalone headsets, working with partners to build some great devices. To start, we worked with Qualcomm to create a Daydream standalone headset reference design, a sort of device blueprint that partners can build from. And we're working closely with two amazing consumer electronics companies to build the first headsets. First, HTC, the company that created the Vive. We're excited about it, too. They're a leader in VR, and we're delighted to be working with them on a standalone VR headset for Daydream. And second, Lenovo. We've been partners for years working together on Tango, and now we're excited to work with them on VR. These devices will start to come to market later this year. 